I was asked to do a product review for Air Rifle Hunter Review and I thought I would do one of this pop-up hide. I bought it a year ago from Bushware.com. I think it cost about 57 quid. It was on sale at the time. They call it the Bush Chair Hide and it comes in this black canvas bag with two shoulder straps and just simply unbuckles and unfolds. I'm not a big fan of uh, pop-up hides. I prefer to make a natural hide in a hole in the hedge somewhere. That way it's there all year round if you maintain it. But there's some places I shoot where there's very little cover about. And that's where this hide comes in handy. Or maybe you haven't got a lot of time the night before to set up a hide. But it's quite quick and simple to set up. And then you just crawl through the bottom half of it. Get your ass in the seat. And zip it up behind you. Compared to a lot of other pop-up hides in the market, it's quite small, making it easier to conceal. The only problem with that is, there isn't much room inside it to uh, manoeuvre a rifle about, or for any other gear you might have brought with you. It's got a double zip in the front, so you can open it up to any size you want. Inside's like a fold up camping chair with two cup holders. One round for a tin of pellets, one square for a box of cartridges. It's all held off of these metal hoops that travel out round and bolt onto the either side of the seat. It's also got two zip compartments inside for uh, storing stuff. It's got five windows out round, two in the sides and one in the back. And they're covered with like a see-through camouflage mesh. The two back windows have got splits in them. Presumably they shoot out of, but you'd need a very, very short rifle to get mounted out of through them. The curtains are held in place by uh, wee magnets, which works quite well indeed. The only thing, the rain can run down the outside of it, leak in through the mesh, well up in the corner of the uh, window and leak inside, but it's still a heck of a lot drier than standing out in the rain. There's a small buckle and strap on the top of it. You can use this to shorten or lengthen the hood on the top. I generally only adjust this if I'm trying to shoot at birds up on a high tree. One problem I found with it, it's so front heavy, it'll fall over on top of you when you try and get out of it. So to fix that problem, I bought a lead anchor out of a pet shop, which I just screw into the ground where I want to set the height up. I have a bungee cord attached to it. So you just set the chair over on top of it and hook the ends of the bungee cord onto the tubular frame of the seat. This helps hold it in place so it won't fall over on top of you. Of course to get shot out of it, you're going to have to unzip the front of it. Unfortunately this exposes you to your quarry. So to help solve this problem, I like to hang a curtain of uh, camouflage netting over the opening. I hold it in place with wee spring loaded clips. then cut a hole in the netting so I can see out of. I also like hanging this old camouflage net over it to help take that shiny flat look off of it. But as you can see it still stands out like a lump on a log. So you need to get it into the cover somewhere. Tuck it between two bushes or in under a tree somewhere. This helps it blend in better. Or if you're working in somewhere where there's very little cover along a fence line, try and get it up against a bush or in under a, an overhanging tree. Give it some sort of background behind it. 
and all you need is a hole big enough to mount your rifle out through it and get a clear view, not one big enough to put your head and shoulders out through. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I like using a set of short four foot shooting sticks. I set these up in front of me, then mounting the rifle on top of them, with the barrel already out, out poked out through the uh, hide net. So all I need is a very small movement to get the rifle on aim for the shot. But it works quite well once you get it set up in the right place. The only thing you, you need to watch is for trespassers or squatters if you leave it sitting up somewhere too long. What are you doing in my hide? Hey? Tabs. Are you going to shoot some magpies? Hmm? You're not going to leave me much room to get in, are you? Yeah, yeah, silly kitty.